most unfortunately, a deadly fighting did occur uh, in June last year between Chinese and Indian uh, troops along the line of actual control in the border area of uh, China-India border. Uh, this came as a big surprise because uh, over the last 40 years, uh, as the Indian Prime Minister Modi said, and the Chinese concur, not a single bullet was fired across the border. So how could we come to have this deadly brawl between the two sides? One of the fundamental reasons is uh, both sides have different uh, positions regarding Galvan Valley, uh, because the Indians believe uh, Galvan Valley is on the Indian side of the line of actual control, while China would believe uh, the valley is on the Chinese side of the line of actual control. Actually, we do not have a border, a verified border between China and India. When we come to the border issue, Chinese approach is different from uh, that of India because Chinese approach is a more top-down approach. That is, because the border between China and India is not resolved, therefore we first of all should have a general principle as to how we might solve this issue before we come to technical details because uh, the line is not verified. But India's approach is uh, bottom-up. That means if the problem is caused by uh, the line of actual control, why don't we verify it? And then we might figure out how we might solve this problem. So this kind of uh, fundamental differences add to the problem and to the extent that this issue is not resolved. But we should not let this problem uh, to become an insurmountable barrier between the two countries. Uh, since Rajiv Gandhi visited China in 1988, the two countries actually have developed a consensus. That is, we should develop our relationship in other aspects and do not let the border issue hijack a bilateral relationship. And that's why we, in 1993, have signed an agreement on maintaining peace and stability in the border area, followed by quite a few other agreements, for example, confidence building measures between the two militaries and agreement on exchange of visit between the uh, border troops. So all these agreements have actually strengthened this relationship. Yes, this uh, incident uh, in the Gaba Valley is most unfortunate. But still, it provides us a chance to think how we might resolve this issue from a new approaches. For example, quite uh, a few people for quite some time have talked about uh, whether the two countries should have uh, uh, hotlines established between the border troops. I think it is a good suggestion and at this time, we also have uh, at least 11 rounds of senior military officials' talks. And this didn't happen before. Uh, so when we have uh, an accident or incident, uh, what is most needed is a direct talks between the troops uh, on the two sides of the border. So this is a fresh start. Let's hope we might have more uh, comprehensive thinking about how this issue could be addressed.